Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. Today we're taking out an F111. This is the Australian G model. Uh, so the latest in the development of the F111s when they were still active. I am taking out an FSX converted imported into Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. This is how it comes over. I have had to do a couple of little uh, changes though. So when I say this is how it comes over, this is how it comes over after you do some changes like cleaning the glass so that you can see it in and out. Uh, I do have a video on how to do that. Also, I can actually put the link in the description for that and to the file. This is freeware. I've also had to clear out the virtual cockpit that was added for FSX. Uh, which would have looked great in Flight Sim uh, 10, but not so much in the new Flight Sim as it covers over the panel and nothing comes over. So we're going to have a static interior. Nothing is actually working, but I am recording this a few days after Captain Sim has released his C-130. And if people are willing to pay money for a plane that you can only fly from the outside, then why not get free ones as well? Although we do have a static interior. I'm going to show you what else is available with this, as in what you can press. We'll let it uh, scroll up. Now there's about 20 liveries. This is the SHRS F111 Aardvark uh, that is on a Riku website. Okay, so we do have a couple of texture issues. We do get white around here. I have had to clear the HUD. I probably could actually insert. I'm not so sure I will bother with that. I could probably also insert some gauges manually uh, to sit in places here. Uh, I don't plan on developing this as freeware. We do have texture issues. You can see his shoes and some of these gauges and around the mask, but you're not going to be sitting in here looking at this necessarily um, very often. Uh, but the external is where all the uh, beauty is in this aircraft. So let's have a look at this flight control. Well, they really turn if you go full, which makes me think they're, they're turning just a little bit too much. Okay. Flaps. If we go all the way up, we will tuck our wings in. There we go. Now, when you have the bombs and tanks, they automatically turn to stay uh, forward as they should do uh, also in real life. But let's go back to the flaps uh, preparing for landing. Now that's uh, full out, but if I go two or three more steps, you'll see that the cowling will open on this. It is quite well modeled. This is what it does in, in real life. This is probably coming in a little more level, so your nose would be up. We do have another one that uh, allows this to come down, and then there's the full extent. Absolutely beautiful, well modeled, like this. And when I'm saying there's about 20 uh, liveries, there's only, uh, I think, this uh, three Australian ones. We've got uh, the, what's that, six squadron, 39 to 99 uh, on the back, but we have a couple other uh, types, but they have bombs or tanks. But then we have a whole bunch of US, uh, mostly green, and um, there is one set of uh, navy white orange to go as well, which is pretty early uh, model F111. All right, and our speed brake is underneath, but we won't use that on the ground because it does actually go down below uh, the height that we're standing here, I think. A couple of things I've had to change and fix on this also is the tail hook no longer is active nor is the fuel filler. In the model uh, converter, you have converter X, you have to actually fix these for FSX import and it stops it from working. Uh, but it, the 3D model does have it so that this actually can extend, which is fine for FSX, but not in this sim. So let's put our park brake off. We are already moving, foot brake on. Get some throttle. Now, I haven't been able to get the afterburner working to show up on this, unfortunately. The file type is wrong. But, we'll give this a bit of a push. 
do a loop around Sydney, come back and land at the same runway. Alright, very quiet inside. Totally static though, and we're just going to miss that vehicle that's having trouble rendering in. Alright, I am flying on legacy mode. Just trying to go as easy as possible. Okay, landing gear up. Can't see underneath. Okay, let's ease off the full throttle there. Does get going. Now, these aircraft were known for uh, being able to do Mark 2.5 at max speed, which is uh, pretty much moving pretty good. Also known for uh, radar avoidance, uh, low terrain radar avoidance, so they hug the ground and uh, could fly very fast and low and still avoid uh, terrain, or terrain avoidance, that's it. It's a very nice model. I'm not so sure about those tails, I think they seem to be moving just a little bit more than I would have expected. Now this is a freeware one. I've also got um, others that were payware. You may have seen me do some uh, streams with those. Well, I wanted to get one where, or some videos, I wanted to get one where everybody could uh, actually use it and bring it in. So this is on the Raku website. It is freeware. It's pretty old, but you will need to use my how to convert uh, FSX aircraft in 2022 in order to follow that and get it uh, to work. Let's see if we can push this a little faster, do a really wide sweep around uh, Sydney. We'll probably end up going all the way around Parramatta up here. Or maybe not quite. Over, where's this? Homebush. It's where they had the Olympics, Olympic stadiums I'm guessing. Yep. I don't have a uh, speed indicator on, but let's back that off and hit the air brakes. There you go. Big paddle underneath. That definitely uh, slows us down. Might need... Uh, ooh, we are getting a little bit of load there. I'm going to put my flaps down. I'm not sure those tails would have moved up and down quite that far. I think that's actually coming over a little bit more than it should be. Alright, let's get ourselves ready for the runway. Oh, those landing gear are awesome. We need to actually slow down more. And another pause. Thank you, Sim. Okay, we seem to be getting a lot of lift here. A lot more than I would expect. I seem to be going just straight up. I do not know what that is. I seem to be now floating. I cannot uh, turn, so it may still have some issues, obviously. We might have to go around here. Do we have our air brake on? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's take another runway. So I am on legacy mode, but once I got back to, I think what was zero throttle, it was almost as if it was trying to have a vertical flight. I'm not sure these things had reverses, but I hit uh, almost like an air balloon. 
I will leave this in the video rather than uh, record this again and, and not do that when I hit uh, my throttle to what would be on some aircraft a reverser it floated so you may experience the same deal I'm now going to bring in yeah there you go full flaps and I'm floating that's what it is all right it's not reverser full flap seems to be vertical uh, Boy, that is terrible Wow all right it is free but once you do your full flaps you are getting almost uh, helicopter like abilities or vertical takeoff so it's the uh, new the new uh, what would be the f-35 all right, we're going to bring this in one more time on runway seven. But this time we're not going beyond that 90 degree turn. So there is a lift problem when it comes to full flaps. Once you extend them beyond the 90 degrees that I'm at now, you get almost straight up thrust. Something is wrong. I'm going to use that air brake to slow down here though until I'm almost down on the ground and then we'll turn it off and off going to have trouble landing this because we're going too fast yep uh, I tried to use reverses or a parachute or anything not going to work. Okay. Flawed. This is totally flawed. Okay. It is free. Landing. Not so easy. Flying amazingly uh, straight up like a helicopter is possible. I'll make the file available, the links in the description. Go and play with it, see if you can get it uh, working. So I think this is going to be a flight model is wrong. Uh, the other alternative is you could potentially uh, put flight model of your own in. Look at this, it's almost got straight up lift. Not like that, we'll bring it one back in and there we go. Alright, oh, that drops us. So even though I have flown this before, I didn't experience this until I put those uh, extended flaps down, which I must not have done before. We take the long runway because we're going to need it. All right, there is no reverser, and when I tried to actually put it on, it didn't want to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh! We do not have the lift we had before. Let's slip it down. Okay, slowing it down is near impossible. Holy schmoly! Alright, let's go full brake. And we're having an F-16 buzzers, I think. Sorry, I have name tags off. Alright, getting this thing to stop. That's a bit of a journey. That is full brake. Let's turn the engines off then. Alright, I would suggest if you want to use this... I mean, the model is great, but the... Oh, now you want to stop. Wow. Yep. Um, if you want to actually fly it, I think it could do with some uh, assistance. Let's get those engines back on if we can. Uh, I think it could do with a new flight model. But I am going to keep this video here because that was a bit of hilarious misadventure. 
fun um, and look the outside uh, model is great there is a cockpit to look at so y you do have a cockpit so you can look out um, but you can't have any of these dials working unless you manually insert uh, the information though if you have the external uh, information that you can put on planes you'd be able to do that there all right thanks for watching that uh, absolute disaster of a video uh, for landing uh, but hey that's what you get with freeware stuff thanks for watching cheers have a great day bye